Ying Er is Kangxi's official tenth son. He is born by Kangxi's noble consort Wen Xi. Because Wen Xi's rank is really high, and Niu Hulu clan is very powerful, Ying Er easily gets Kangxi's favor. When Ying Er is sixteen years old, Kangxi arranged him to get married. With a Mongolian princess, this princess is from Aba Hai clan. Huang Taiji's noble consort Yi Jing and consort Kang Hui are from the same clan. Unfortunately, Ying Er doesn't like this Mongolian princess. Five years after marriage, Mongolian princess. Give birth to her only child, who is Ying Er's fifth son. After Mongolia princess passed away, Kangxi arranged Ying Er to get married with a girl, He Shili Shi, who is the Empress Xiao Changren's niece. Kangxi's other sons, including the Crown Prince, get married. With normal government officers' daughters, Kangxi has twenty surviving sons. When he is alive, he only gave ten of them noble titles. In seventeen zero nine, Kangxi directly gave Ying Er the title Duoluo Dun Jun Wang, the Prince Dun of the Second Rank. When Ying Er is thirty-five years old, he starts to help Kangxi manage the upper three banners. The upper three banners are belonged to Kangxi, so I think Ying Er isn't a person without capabilities. Well, when compared with Kangxi's other sons, Ying Er's capabilities are not enough. To help him win the throne competition, for example, in throne competition, Niu Hulu Clan supports Kangxi's eighth son, Yan Shi, not Yan Er. Besides, with society becoming stable, Kangxi and government officers don't want the new emperor is from a very powerful clan. So in strong competition, Ying Er joins Yan Shi's team, Ba Ye Dang, the Eighth Lord Party, but he isn't the core member. For example, in 1708, Kangxi first time demotes the Crown Prince. He believes Yan Shi has planned to replace the Crown Prince. And wants to arrest Yan Shi. His Lord Party's core members Yan Tang and Yan Ti publicly stand out to support Yan Shi. Well, Yan Er didn't join them. One year later, Kangxi widely promotes his sons. Yan Tang and Yan Ti only gets the first rank prince title. Ying Er directly become the third rank prince. In my opinion, at least in Kangxi's mind, Ying Er isn't the core member of the Eighth Lord Party. In 1722, Yan Zhen became the Emperor Yongzheng because Yongzheng doesn't have enough powers to fight with Eighth Lord Party. Yong Zheng treated the members of the Eighth Lord Party very well. Well, Ying Er is the first member who lost the power and the noble title. Here, I want to ask you a question. Can you remember in which video I mentioned this religious leader? This religious leader is. Hu Tu Ke Tu Da Lama, he is the first supreme spiritual authority 
of the yellow height lineage of Tibetan Buddhism in Mongolia. He and Kangxi had great relationship. In 1622, Kangxi passes away. As one of Kangxi's best friends, Hu Tukertu Dalama insists on personally participating Kangxi's funeral. Unfortunately, after the long travel, he is seriously sick and passed away in Beijing at age eighty-eight. To show respect, Qing central government must select a proper person to send Hu Tukertu Dalama's body back to Mongolia. After careful consideration, Yong Zheng decides to give this duty to Ying E. In my opinion, Ying Zheng's arrangement isn't a political attack. First, Ying E is the second-rank prince, who is a high-rank royal clan member. Second, Ying E's first wife is a Mongolian princess. He has special relationship with Mongolian nobles. But in Ace Lord Party members' view, this is another story. I guess they think this arrangement. Is a sign of political attack. Yong Zheng intentionally kicks Ying E out of Beijing. Anyway, Ying E accepts this duty. But when he arrived at Zhang Jiakou, which is a city near Beijing, he refused to go further, used using the excuse of sickness. Meanwhile, he tells people Yong Zheng will let him back to Beijing soon. After Yong Zheng, after Yong Zheng got this news, he think it is Ying E's personal behavior, because he doesn't punish Ying E and allows him to stay in Zhang Jiakou until he feels better. But no zuo, no die. When people is sick, the normal way is visiting the doctor and taking some medicine. But Yin E doesn't. He found some salmon to pray for him. In Manchuria culture, this is normal, not a big deal. But in the ceremony, Yin E used a praying article with the words "Yong Zheng Xin Jun." Which means Yong Zheng, the new emperor. This makes Yong Zheng become become furious, because Yong Zheng thoughts Ying E maybe use this ceremony to curse him. Then Yong Zheng withdraw Ying E's noble title and government positions, confiscate Ying E's wealth. And puts Ying E under home arrest. But considering the new Hulu clan and Ying E isn't the core member of Eight Lord Party, Yong Zheng give Ying E a good living conditions. In 1737, the second year of Qianlong's time, Ying E is released. Qianlong also give him a note of. Fifth rank prince title. Four years later, Ying E passes away at age fifty-five. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.